Hi ladies, welcome to my channel again. My name is Natalie and um, I just want to say thanks for those who've popped by to view this um, wig review and to my subscribers, thank, thanks to you as well for um, your support and your love. So today I'm reviewing this wig that I'm wearing and yes ladies, it is a wig. Um, she is a lace fronted wig that I got from um, Aphrodite. Um, they were recently having their sales um, up to 50% off on some items. Um, you can, if you're watching this and you're in the USA, you can purchase um, their wigs online. They do ship internationally. Um, and their website, I will post the link down below, but it's www.afrodotwigs.co.uk, okay? And for those of us who live in the UK, perhaps if you live in London, you can pop by their shop um, in Battersea. Um, if you just go to their website, you'll be able to see where their address is and etc, etc. But you can actually buy by calling up, okay? And they do give great advice. So as usual, as you know from the last time I reviewed an Aphrodite wig, um, it comes in this. And I chose um, the um, free delivery because they deliver free UK mainland um, instead of um, paying for the guaranteed next day delivery. Um, but to be honest with you, they're so on point when they, when they send it off. Um, the two times, this is the second time I've received a wig from them, I've got it on time, I've got it next day. But Postman didn't knock. It was, it was taken to the sorted office and all that jazz. But I, I got it eventually and um, no biggie. So came in this box, beautiful box as usual. That you can store it in. Um, the only thing I've noticed this time is um, I didn't receive, I mean, obviously it came in a netting and I took the lace off. It is French lace. And I'll give you the specs of the wig in a minute. Um, but the um, Kenya wig, came wrapped in tissue paper as usual um, but the Kenya wig also had a um, plastic bag um, to store it in as well as the box but I didn't receive the plastic bag I don't know why um, and I received just a reminder of the Moroccan oil that they sell I'm thinking of um, investing in that um, at the minute because I need that definitely for this wig. So this is an Indian Remy, 100% um, Indian Remy, and um, her name is Asia. She's a body wave, and she is 20 inches long. Okay, so I'm just gonna stand, pop my chair from behind me, because I want you to see. Just I'm five foot two, and that's where she comes. I mean, if I stretch her, she could be just at the top of my bum. Okay, so um, let me just sit back down. So I decided to go for a longer length um, wig because I felt like doing something fabulous. Okay, so on the website, she's for sale for $134.99. Okay, but um, if you catch it on sale, if um, today is the 7th of September, the sales may have finished, but just check their website because on sale, I think it was 119 and like I said, um, well, starts at 119 um, and like I said, this is 100% um, Indian Remy, okay, body wave and I have her in a 1B. Now, I'm, I've gotten ready for church and I just thought I didn't feel the need to do the whole unveiling of the wig and everything. But you know, when they send their wigs, it comes pretty um, well packed. Um, there's no reason it would get wet while it's being delivered because of the bag that it's delivered in and so forth and so forth. Now, one thing about this wig, I mean, my Kenya wig that I received from the company, um, doesn't shed at all. I mean, I've had maybe a couple of strands here and there of shedding, but this hair does shed. 
it does um, I mean there's nothing coming out at the minute but it does shed when you try you know I finger combed it and last night I decided because I wore it yesterday for the first time and I it's got baby hairs by the way guys let me just come in a little bit so it's got baby hairs to make it a bit more realistic and pretty hairline but um, yesterday when I wore it, I did nothing to it. I just put it on, glued it with tape. I've got tape on. Um, it's got straps at the back, so there's no lace at the back or anything like that. Um, and it's not got any combs as well. It's got about three inches of um, parting room. And that sort of goes down to the ear. But obviously, as it goes down, it gets a bit narrower. You wouldn't part it down there anyway. So, um, what was I saying? Yeah, yesterday I um, wore it just as and I sort of scraped it back off my head and had it in a little loose bun. But um, I realised that if I wanted to wear her out and fabulous, I had to sort of frame it to my face. <laughs> And I am terrible at cutting anything and I kind of worried about cutting it. But what I did was, on here on YouTube, you can find loads of reviews. Um, ladies do them all the time about how they cut their um, wigs or, or um, their um, sew-ins and things like that. So how to kind of sort of frame it to your face. So I sort of knew that if I held my scissor in that direction and you know keep going you know I'd be able to kind of create some layers and that's what I did to the front as you can see that's layered um, it's a bit shorter than 20 inches but it's 20 inches all the way around and what I might do um, I might go to my hairdresser and just ask her to help me um, layer it some more so that it frames my face some more okay but look at it. I mean, other than the shedding that I've had, this is just some beautiful, beautiful hair. I've not put anything on it. Um, um, and the only thing I think I'll use on this wig is argan oil. And um, she is soft. The curls are beautiful. I had her in... Um, flexi rods last night because I just wanted her a little bit more curly so I flexi rodded her last night overnight and then I sort of to make this part um, where I want it to be I sort of had to use my flat iron just to flatten this area you can heat it up and then turn it on the side and just kind of sit it there and it just sort of lets it lie down a little bit um so i did that last night um and then by this morning she was good to go so just put her on the usual stuff you prep your skin uh, you put your scalp protector on and then i put my um tape on and that was it so i love this wig i would rate her a at the minute a eight and a half nine out of ten and the only reason I wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10 is because it's shedding so much. But I don't know if, because it obviously it's a new wig and it's a curly wig, and we know curly wigs shed, um, that maybe after, I've not washed it or anything like that, so perhaps after co-washing it, um, that shedding might just sort of peter out. Okay, so I definitely will do an update on this wig. Um, it makes me feel like, you know, fabulous. Um, but yeah, it does make me feel fabulous. I didn't think I could pull off this length wig, but I think it's fine. This wig can be put up in a ponytail, obviously. Um, do the same thing that I normally do. You can see how beautiful that looks in a ponytail. Um, I had it yesterday in a bun, like so, 
and that's how I wore her yesterday and I sort of just fixed the back you know like I've always said that you, you can if it's not got lace at the back so I'll just pull that down so yeah tell me what you think about this wig um like I said the only con is the shedding um but um if I compare this to the Kenya wig which had minimal shedding I suspect um, this is shedding just a little bit more because it's a curly wig and curly wig shed and obviously it's a different texture as well okay so but if you were to ask me if I would buy this wig again yeah definitely 100 times um, so so this is day two of wearing her and um, I'll see how it goes and I'll let you know but if you're interested, if you love long wigs and you're interested in buy, purchasing her, um, just visit their website and pick yours up. I think the length of this wig goes up to 24 inches. Um, I didn't know how uh, comfortable I would feel with that, but that's why I went for the 20 inch because I'm only, like I said, I'm five foot two, so this comes down pretty long on me anyway. But um, yeah, just wanted to say um, I'm enjoying wearing this wig. I'm enjoying wearing a very long wig for the first time. That's human hair. I mean, I've had long wigs before that are synthetic and those go matty and nasty in no time um, if you don't take care, good care of them. And with even with human hair wigs, if you don't take care of um, a curly wig, even though it's human hair, it will mat on you as well so I mean the upside to that is that because it's human here you're able to undo that and it you know your wig snaps back but um yeah I'm loving this wig I'm loving the hairline um that's just lifting a little bit but you can see how remember I've not got much hair especially at the front and that looks pretty natural another thing I wanted to just mention about their wigs is they um around the periphery you know the periphery the, the lace edge um it dips and it's like concaves and convexes it um so that the hairline is not just a moon shape it um can you see it just comes out then it goes back in and then it comes out again here so you know it makes and that's what i think makes their hairline so um natural but yeah i'm loving this wig you guys go out and purchase her and tell me what you think what your experience has been with her it's very soft it doesn't tangle that much at all considering it's curly um but yeah i love her what do you think tell me what you think rate subscribe join the family of ladies and we don't just um wear wigs for style we wear wigs you know for um hair loss but you know wigs make you fabulous you can change the way you look like that you can change the color of your hair like that and that's what i like about wigs so come and join us tell me what what do you like about wearing wigs regardless of the reason you wear it let's start a conversation speak to you again soon i'll do an update maybe in about a couple of weeks um and let you know how i'm getting on with her by then i would have washed her and i can tell you more about her okay ladies speak to you again soon Bye bye